Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go back to the Valley of Repulse because we really have no other choice. <laughs> so that's the best possible decision I could make at this moment in time. As you see as we're on our landing, the onion is going to plop down over on that circle there. Yeah, this is like a home base of sorts, I guess you could say. Mm, 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 mm. Cutscene. Good morning, workers! Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? Absolutely! Yeah! <laughs> the Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures! No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. Alright, I will do so because really I don't have any other choice as well. <laughs> Can't do anything without the Pikmin after all. Olimar and Louie. Pretty defenseless. Anyway, uh, put them in when they're in your squad by pressing up. Take them out by pressing down when they're in the onion. Got it? Good. Okay. So let's get them all together here because I intend on breeding them like crazy, if at all possible. So yeah, let's get... What? Why did I want to grab with the, with the other one? I'll forget about it. They're Pikmin. They aren't the most intelligent of critters. <laughs> Um, I'm probably not going to wait for those seeds to sprout and turn into Pikmin, because that's just going to burn some time. Speaking of time, um, see that clock at the top of the screen that's a bunch of dots there? Yeah! Um, now there's a time for each day of the game, past the first day, basically. Um, it's about 13 minutes in length, if I recall correctly, and, uh, you probably want to keep moving and grooving, you know, just to keep things going and whatnot. I mean, you don't have the 30-day time limit thing that there was in the original Pikmin game, but, you know, it's just nice to have a good pacing overall, and yeah. Now, I'm gonna leave those to do whatever they want to do. Actually, okay, I just wanted to make sure that those two were carrying the back the pellets like I was expecting them to do, and they did, so that's good. And now that I know that they're carrying those back, I can go over to these pellet posies and start knocking them down. Yeah, that's why I went to the furthest side to get the pellet posies first, because I wanted to sort of time management the thing, and if I did these first, it would have taken longer, because then I would have had to go over to those, and then, yeah, you get what I'm saying here. This is a real-time strategy game, after all, so it's best to think strategically, you know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I still have to do a decent amount of waiting here, though, unfortunately. <sighs> I, I mean, I guess I could start plucking these, but... Eh, I don't know. I kind of want to wait to see if they bud around this time period here. I'm pretty sure they will by the time uh, the other ones start plucking, because I would like to show you what it looks like when they start budding and whatnot. Because there's not, there's not really that strict of a time limit on day two here. Um, because this is still sort of kind of like the tutorial and whatnot, so you can still lollygag around here um, in your quest to figure things out, I guess you could say. So there's still not a lot of pressure the game puts on you, even though you see that timer um, all over the place, you know, now. <laughs> so don't worry about the timer too much. Hmm, maybe it takes like a quarter of the day to butt or something like that, maybe? Like maybe I'm gonna wait... Oh wait, there we go, this one just butted right here, yeah, see that? So it's it's like a um, uh, four yeah it is a quarter of the day according to that little sundial there anyway let's start plucking now because I showed you what a bud is like and now I'll be able to show you the difference between buds and leaves and there is going to be quite a big difference actually between the two despite their appearances all right we got them all together right now watch us watch us as they're going look who's a little bit faster yeah the bud Pikmin are. Isn't that something? So that's why you want to flower and bud your Pikmin whenever possible. Anyway, let's get the Pikmin up on top here to crush down this paper bag. And there we go. Got another one of these bulwarks. Only this time, they can munch on your Pikmin. So be careful with that. Do not let them... I mean, do not mess around with them this time. Um... Got a regular red bulb orb here. I think I have enough to attack them from behind, so let's do it! Yeah! Destroy! Oh yeah! And, oh, there goes a couple carrying it. I don't want them all on that. Come on now, guys. Uh, I'm gonna throw a couple 
there, yes. And put the couple on there, and over here, we have a can! 35, really? Oh, I don't have that many. Well, poopers. Well, anyway, I need to, those guys to get back to the base to, to breed some more Pikmin anyway, so I'm going to start by C-sticking these guys onto the wall here. Get it? C-sticking. It's like I'm sticking them to the wall and oh, forget about it. <laughs> and I am going to go back to the base with Olimar here while I have Louie by the wall. Just to, just in case something happens, it's sort of the uh, real-time strategy aspect dealio again of uh, multitasking with different characters. And if something were to go wrong, I could just switch over like that. And yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. But I still have to wait for these guys to bring their treasure back. <sighs> Alas, the first couple days of this game are so slow. But I assure you, it picks up quite a bit. Oh, I assure you. <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on. A little bit faster. More Pikmin. Yes! Faster! <laughs> Alright, let's start plucking. By the way, you'll notice that uh, I'm only getting five uh, Pikmin from the five pellets, as opposed to uh, when I was getting two Pikmin from one pellets. You know, with the bonus of... Uh, and whatnot. Well, that, that only seems to happen with the one pellets for some reason. I'm not sure why, but yeah. But you always want to match... Uh, colors to their onions, because if you didn't realize from the game's box art, there are more Pikmin colors in this game to be found. Alright, so, we got everyone together, and look at those buds move. Oh yeah, look at that speed! <laughs> but preferably, I'd like to flower them. I would like to get some nectar around here, if at all possible, but I don't think there is any in the area um, this early in the game and whatnot. But anyway, I want to carry this back. Uh, I should actually see stick this should go a little bit faster. Oh, they're done with the wall. Sweet. How could Pikmin destroy such a massive wall when mass their might is ferocious? Louis, did Olimar instruct you on proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not. Olimar, you're failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Press A to grab Pikmin and release to throw them. Call them into a group with B. Press X to disband the group. Use C to issue orders and objectives to the group. C is useful for soaring Pikmin around treasure and enemies, or making them march in a line. Yeah, I kind of went over that already, for the most part. <laughs> anyway, let's get a bunch of Pikmin on there, and there we go. And uh, I'm gonna look up ahead here, because I see a rather ominous-looking hole in the ground. Like, what? What is this craziness? What? Oh. This is... This is all dear. Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could lie on the ground? What is wrong? You both so show expressions of unease. Do not fear, the leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Okay. But not until I have my full squad of Pikmin. But the real reason why I came through here is because I want to show you something. Red Pikmin cannot go in water. Come on, let me... I just wanted a few of you guys, not 12 of you guys. Jeez. <laughs> Red Pikmin can't go in water without some issues. Watch this. Yeah, they start drowning. But if they're in the water, just call them back with the whistle and they'll be okay. But yeah, you do not... And I repeat, you do not want Red Pikmin to go in the water. So... That's pretty much a dead end right now, and that's, this is pretty much all we can explore um, of this area for the most part, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could go down all the way back to where Louie was again for some reason, but there's really nothing there. <laughs> so right now I wouldn't really worry about uh, such things at the moment. I just want to get this can back to the ship ASAP. Ah! Ah! Go! Oh, 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 so slow in the early game! <laughs> Eventually, I'll be able to multitask more effectively with multiple part- well, multiple captains, excuse me. Well, I guess I was gonna say partners, but they are partners. Alright, I got the can! Woo! Utter scrap! Yeah! That is the sound of true value right there. <laughs> Alright, now, I should probably go head down that hole. Sounds like a good idea, since there really isn't anything else to explore. Well, I got- well, since this is the first day, I could, keyword could, um, go flop over to this side here, because those flowers that were on that ledge might be regrown by now. Um, because stuff tends to regrow as time passes, 
So yeah, as long as I've got a rather relaxing day going on here. Oh, nope, I guess not. So I guess nothing grew back there. But I was going to say, as long as uh, things are um, going in a nice relaxing pace here, I would go and try and maximize our Pikmin squad. But come to think of it, this might be the... Uh, the highest amount of Pikmin I can get at this moment in time in the game, because it, it sort of kind of limits you at points in how many Pikmin you can get, and yeah, the early game is one of them. But 65 Pikmin is more than enough, it's just that I'm kind of, you know, just trying to make the most of the day, I guess you could say. Anyway, let's go inside this hole. It's known as the Emergence Cave, and let's get it started. Note that your game will save whenever you enter one of these caves or go down the floor. So, if you don't like how whatever something progressed, just restart from your last save without saving before you do anything, and you'll be able to just go on ahead and you'll know, restart what you messed up on or whatnot. And yeah, it's, some people consider that cheap, but this game in itself is actually pretty cheap. <laughs> you'll see later on, I assure you. Intriguing. My heat sensors indicate that this hole's interior is warmer than on the surface. And also suggests subterranean areas may support different life forms on the surface. If you wish to check underground terrain, press start slash pause to communicate with me. I'm not just a ship, I'm an all-purpose support pod. And also a business pod. <laughs> Remember, because of this whole catchy nickname thing to objects. So yeah, here are some snow bulb orbs. It's kind of weird that they're underground, considering that it's warmer under here than it is on the surface, and you would think it, with something called Snow Bulb Orb, they would be, you know, up on the surface where it's colder, and oh, forget about it. Anyway, here's an orange. Well, it's actually not called an orange, but you'll find out what it's called soon enough. Uh, I don't know what's the difference between these guys. I mean, they... I mean, maybe it's just the color difference, because I really do not see any difference between the two of these critters. Alright. I mean, they're just, what I mean by between the two of the critters is that they're pretty much just like the, um, no, 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 no. They're pretty much just like the regular dwarf red bulb orbs. And, yeah. And this is called... The Citrus Lump! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the Citrus Lump. Anyway, I gotta wipe this guy off before he starts nibbling at my Pikmin. Sounds like a good idea. And by the way, um... They're gonna bring other treasures and critters back to the ship. Uh, they don't really... I mean, bringing critters back to the ship doesn't really help you breed Pikmin or anything like that underground. Um, so you're not... It's not really all that useful to do so other than getting a couple bit of pocket change. But I'm just gonna do so to show you a little cutscene regarding it. Crunching album! I mean, emblem, excuse me. What am I saying album for? I don't know. But yeah, it's a 7-up bottle cap. Old 7-up bottle cap. By the way... Whenever you get all the treasure on a floor, you'll hear a sound and the Pikmin will start singing. How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold, but I do not think beasts will be worth much. So yeah, it's basically a treasure pod and I'll just you'll see how much things are worth as they get brought to the pod. See, watch on the side of the screen there. Two Pocos, whoop de doo <laughs> And anyway, you're just gonna leave them to bring those back, and I'm going to wait on... I was gonna say wait by this hole. But approaching it apparently starts a cutscene, which I forgot about. <laughs> this hole appears to be quite deep. My sensors need to keep more treacherous terrain ahead. Louie, you do recall that you can adjust the camera with L, R, and Z, correct? Your expression suggests you do. Excellent. Then approach the hall and press A to enter it. Alright. Just gonna wait for them to finish. Oh, there we go. And they are done. Now hear this hear the singing of the Pikmin? Listen. Listen. Wait for it. Come on, guys. Singing. That's the sound of a completed floor, okay? Okay, so let's go into the hole and delve deeper. And of course, as I said, every time you go down deeper, your game will be saved automatically. So only do that if you are satisfied with the result of the floor that you were just on. Got it? Good. And do not forget any treasure. I repeat, do not forget any treasure. 
By the way, there's a certain random aspect to these floors in that, well, maybe not the early game ones so much as the later ones, in that there is, in that these floors, the actual layout can change, like they, they're, they're randomly generated dungeons to an extent, and that's what kind of held me back from making a walkthrough on this game for so long, because I was unsure if making a walkthrough on this game would really help you beat this game. <laughs> but I figured that I can teach survival tactics, as you know, rather than direction tactics and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, I never checked my map now, did I? As you can tell, oh, the whole map is drawn here. Well, usually, um, you won't be able to see the entire map until you start exploring it. There's like a fog of war thing going on, and yeah, so you won't, you, the map will draw itself as you go, basically. And if it appears we have found a half of a globe, it is inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The decision on the outer shell of res I mean, des decision. Design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. And that's the maximum amount of Pikmin that can be out on the field, is 100. Oh, well look, this one, this sucker requires 101, so how is it possible to lift this thing? They're, they're never going to be able to do that. Well, let's just move on ahead and leave that for now. we got some more snow bulb orbs to wipe out here. Yeah, throwing Pikmin on top of them kills them instantly, so it's, uh, it's a pretty quick way to deal with them. Although, if, if you're uh, strapped for time, I guess you could say, in terms of like pressure of things against you, um, what you can do is to just see stick like crazy around them, and it should kill them pretty quickly as well, and I, don't, I want my whole squad for this guy right here. Hey, yeah, yeah, or, or girl, guy or girl, who knows? Can, can't really tell with these. <laughs> Alright, let's get these to take them back, I suppose, for some booty. And, uh, oh, no, you guys too. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, it's so dark and spooky. By the way, whenever you see what some of these plants, walk through them, and they'll actually be added to the Piclopedia. Believe it or not, yeah, these plants have their own things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are violet candy pop buds. Astounding! A flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly it is warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Yearn to be tossed into the flower, huh? Well, let's throw five of them into each flower per violet candy pop bud here and see where that gets me. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go, and you'll notice that it withers once you throw five into there. So yeah, I threw a little too many on that side, but that's okay. And uh, oh, a new species of Pikmin! Sumo Pikmin! <laughs> well, it's a purple Pikmin, but yeah, they're much, much heavier and stronger. Amazing! A purple Pikmin! It has hair, and it's, it's quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This thing, this, I mean, this kind of Pikmin is not missing your report, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Yup, introduced in this game. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them at the flowers and shaking. Perhaps there are others. Perhaps there are indeed. Anyway, now let's keep plucking these guys. Gotta do the double A tapping and multiple A tap method. There we go. We got everyone together. Now let's go back over to that globe. Oh wait, wait, hold on a sec. I just want to look around the uh, edges here just to see if I miss anything in terms of visuals. I guess you could say. <laughs> and oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't mean to start this cutscene just yet, but that's okay. It's fine. Astounding! Water is shooting out of the skies with incredible force. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you into the air. Report you didn't press A to try. No, not not ready. Not ready. But yeah, look at that. Lights coming down from above. That's likely what's happening um, with those flowers there and how they're able to thrive in this darkness. Because, you know, it's getting heat and, you know, it's getting light. Everything's, I mean, stuff is being able to grow. And yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Anyway, the pi purple Pikmin, really, really slow. But as slow as they may seem... 
They are probably the most useful type of Pikmin in the game. Well, for battle. <laughs> not not so much for speedruns, but for battle. They, they can sometimes stun enemies when you throw them at things, because uh, they make this stomp. Like, watch this. Oh, yeah. Now, anyway, I'm going to start putting them on here. But actually, I'm going to put them on one at a time here so you can see what it's like. Watch this. One purple Pikmin is equal to ten. Regular Pikmin. Now we'll be able to carry it. <laughs> It'll take a while, but yeah, now we'll be able to carry it. Might as well get the rest of the squad on there just to make this a little bit faster. And everyone on, everyone on. Whoop. There we go. Go, 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 guys! Go, 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 go! I'm gonna go over to the geyser. You can leave the Pikmin behind, they'll follow you over to the next floor or out of the dungeon, uh, or cave, whatever you want to call these, um, when you go over to the, the geyser or, um, set a hole in the ground and whatnot. Let's check the status of them here with Louie. Let's just see, man, they are really going slow. I wonder if they're gonna make it. Come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! The Spherical Atlas! There's a device resembling a microchip inserted inside the sphere. Achieving data. Error. I can only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. I will then put this data into my planetary database and name it. The Sphere Chart! Just start pause to contact me and access the Explorer Kit on the radar screen with L. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the decoded territory tomorrow. Okay. By the way, you might notice something else down below here. There's no timer at the top of the screen. Well, you might be wondering why is that? Well, for some reason, time is frozen while you're underground. Yeah, I... <laughs> so, if you want to sort of burn time and warp back to the base... Well, I mean, not burn time, excuse me. If you want to just, like, warp back to the base and not worry about the the time or anything like that, go in one of these things and go to the end. Go, yeah, all the way to the end, and then you'll be able to snap all the way back to the base when you finish this place. But, you know, if, if you got to be able to finish this place, you know, assuming that you have the right Pikmin for the right job. And anyway, I'm going to show you what I mean about uh, that you can leave Pikmin behind while going up ahead regardless of what happens. And yeah, see, they follow you no matter what in these underground areas, which is cool. And that's all the treasure. Cave completed! Ha <laughs> ha! And now if you look at the top right of the screen there, you're going to see three out of three rather than just three. You'll only be able to see how many things are in a cave once you 100% said cave. Alright. Good. And now this is what I mean about warping back to the base without wasting any time. Look at that. We get flopped down right over here. Woo! And this is going to end up being the end of the day, because there's nothing else to do. Hmm? Well, aside from a cutscene. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision-making, gentlemen. You must celebrate your first successful splunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send the report back to the President tonight, detailing your progress. Sweet. And... Oh, yep. Yeah, mm. Almar and Louie, since you explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable! You may not realize it, but you are exhausted! <laughs> you should take a much needed rest, as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. I think that's a hint back to um, the whole 30 day thing that I was talking about that the uh, original Pikmin had, you know, the limit. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. Alright, so it looks like this day has been forcefully ended before sundown, and I won't be able to show you the sundown mechanics. Oh well, just gonna have to wait until later. <laughs> Woo! Day complete! Mm -hmm. What creature? It's already fell asleep next to our base, what? How did it do that? And how is it falling asleep when there's so much noise around? Oh, forget about it. <sighs> anyway, reports! 
<laughs> we get to see our Pikmin progress, as well as treasure progress, basically. The funds are the treasures that we've gotten. Yep, we already know that stuff. And next up, the Pikmin. Of course, we had a gain. No losses whatsoever. Sweet. We got mail. Baby steps first, Salomar. Glenn will and don't worry about me. Our debt is with happy Hakutate savings and loan, after all. Besides, there's nothing left to repossess, so ha! Huh? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Although there could be some sort of lawsuit that'll land them in jail, but... Well, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start The Awakening Wood. What the? It opened. Okay, this is suspicious. Evil voice guy, are you there? Yes. You didn't lock me in my room this time? No, why would I do that? I told you I wasn't going to do that again. But then why did you close the door in my poll results video? It was drafty. And what about the Pikmin 2 game that you left along with some notes? It was just a suggestion. You were playing a lot of Mario lately. Now, wait, let me get this straight. So, I wasn't trapped in my room being forced to play Pikmin 2? No. Oh, jeez! But, now I'm committed. I already released the first part. Hey, it's not my fault that you misinterpreted me.